Hi, I'm Jackie Rosen. We met up with Jackie Rosen when she toured UNLV's College of Engineering. These are solar cells that we're testing right now. Are you from here in Las Vegas? Yes, ma'am. Where'd you go to high school? Rancho High School. Rancho High School, fantastic, I love it. So here we have uh, photocatalytic semiconductors. We have the talent here, we just have to create the opportunities. So how did the Chicago native become a U.S. representative from Nevada who's now running for Senate? My first job was scooping ice cream in the cone line at Bridgman's, and I worked other kinds of waitress jobs after that. Including here in Las Vegas. I actually uh, worked one summer at Caesars Palace. So with the summer I turned 21, I made enough money to pay my tuition for the year. She eventually became a computer programmer. A woman in tech. Uh, it was the early 1980s, not so many uh, women. She's lived here for nearly 40 years. I raised my daughter here. My husband uh, was a physician here. He worked at the VA over, uh, for over 10 years. A junior representative making the jump to Senate. Why? Well, because you know what? I think the dignity and decency of our democracy is a little bit at stake right now. I have a daughter who's 22. I think about the future that I want to leave her. I think about what's important as we go forward. And I think about my grandmother who came over on the bottom of a ship 100 years ago, who may not have even understood what was going to happen 100 years later. And so I think to honor my past and think about the legacy we leave in order to make a difference, this is the time to do it because so many things are at stake. Our voting rights, our equal rights, our human rights, women's rights, veterans need support, our health. When it comes to the election, she told me she's not taking anything for granted. Just the fact that I could be a granddaughter of an immigrant, a girl who was a waitress during college, became a computer programmer, could be here in the number one Senate race, that's amazing. And I'm always going to be proud that I wasn't afraid to step up and to speak out and to fight for what I think is right.